yeah, I just didn't want to make a decision without going home and like talk to my parents about it first of all, but I am staying another year. Um, just couldn't really turn down the opportunity that we have going forward, especially with this bowl game. That's what I want the focus to be on, but especially Justin coming back and uh, a lot of the other guys is just really will set the tone with it with this bowl game into next year. Um, we've been through a lot. Um, it's been a long journey. Um, been through a lot of great teams, a lot of bad teams and stuff like that. But um, I can just tell you from just the time I've been here with Coach Crispo and everything, um, this program's probably going to be in the rise like I've never seen it before. So the next coming years, I'm definitely going to come back to some games and watch and see what the Oregon Ducks are going to do. Um, I feel like the way us teams have prepared the young guys, I feel like the the way the – this program is going to be, it's going to be the ceiling, it's going to take off on the ceilings, you know, take the, the ceiling, uh, take the top off the ceiling. Uh, the way Coach Chris Ball's recruited, the guys he's bringing in, the guys that are listening to us and seeing how we go about, you know, school, practice, all sorts of those things, that the, the sky's the limit for these guys. I, and I, I give it two to three years, these guys will win the national championship. You'd be surprised what Coach Chris Ball has up his sleeve. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, they're the, the best Russian defense in the country. And a lot of time, you, you don't really want to look at the stats, really want to watch the tape, but the, really the tape lines up with their statistics. And, uh, you know, the best defensive front I've ever played. You know, a couple weeks ago, I compared them to UW, but they're obviously, they're a lot better after getting diving in deeper and deeper. Um, you know, they're really stout in their physical and their defensive linemen play football the way, you know, I'd play football if I was a D lineman. They're really physical. And it's not, it's not, um, you know, a lot of people want to say like cheap or stuff, but they're really tough guys that really just want to get after it. So yeah. You know, we just have to be uh, ready and um, we have to be happy with getting four yards. You know, we can't really get tired of getting the four and five rushing yards of play, and uh, because you know it's going to spit eventually. And that's kind of the thing, the emphasis we had at UW week. Uh, you know. A 60-yard run is going to be really nice, but that's not football. You know what I mean? That's not what's going to happen, especially with a team like Michigan State where it's going to be a grinder and it's going to come down to the fourth quarter. Yeah, you know, I think I just came back to when Coach Chris Ball first got here and uh, really just how much uh, we've gained a relationship with each other. He's almost, you know, he's like a best friend to me. And uh, really just he's talk, this year has talked a lot about laying the foundation of where we want our program to go. And, uh, you know, I want to be come back in 10 years and so when we're winning national championships every year and we turn into this dynasty like Alabama or these other schools and really say, you know, like we started that. So I think a lot of these seniors right here are going to look back and say that, look back at the foundation that we started. And I think... Uh, you know, we owe it a lot to our fans, a lot, a lot to Coach Chris Ball with uh, these retro juniors staying back and um, Justin Stan. So, you know, that's that changes a lot. So, yeah. Um, I believe they still have the same identity, you know, running the football, you know, opposing their will against their opponents. You know, um, playing my freshman year against those guys, you know, they still have a really top running back, you know, one of the top running backs in the country. He's back. So, so similar faces, you know, but now they got more people um, doing different things. Now they're, th they're airing the ball out a little bit more than they were doing my freshman year. But overall, their identity is still the same. Um, I'd say the same thing. Um, they still have, you know, a great team, great coaches and everything like that, great players. Their defense is definitely on the rise. So it should be a great matchup. Um, I mean, I pretty much the same thing kind of Shane said, went back home, talked to my parents and just went through that whole process, figuring out, you know, what, what the deal is and, you know, how to go from there forward. 
Um, but I uh, reference for the young guys, I would probably just tell them to keep pushing, um, regardless if they're going to go back or not. Because, um, I mean, you never really know until you finally make your decision. But regardless, you still have to work out and stay in the film room and stuff like that. Just stay on your P's and Q's. So. I just really wanted to get another opportunity um, to just showcase my talents and my versatility. So um, having the opportunity to work with Coach Dennison and Coach Joe, and I mean, they click so well together. I mean, we'll be in the middle of practice and he'll just tell me hop in outside or inside. So it doesn't really matter. But um, just again, just trying to showcase my talents and, and help my team as best as I can. Uh, they both do a, a really good job with their system. You know, they both can run. They both can throw the ball. You know, uh, that's just uh, something else we got to add on to our preparation for this game. You know, they both can run. You know, we got to stay tight in coverage, and you know, we got to fit the right gaps too as well because they do speed option as well. So, in most defenses, you don't count for the quarterback. So that's really the hardest thing you got to, you know, uh, practice. Um, going off what Ugo said, I would just say, um, just if, at practice, we've been focusing a lot on tackling. They have a big running back. Quarterback's very ver versatile and everything. So. Um, our emphasis was this week was just getting after him and make sure we can just tr try to get him on the ground. And when we get a chance to fit up the running back, make sure we take him to the ground and we don't get run over. So. Any final questions? Right in the back. For Jalen, was there any thought at all for you guys to sit out this whole game and uh, protect your bodies? So a lot of players are doing that now as they look towards the NFL. Any thoughts about that process? Um, I know for me, I just wanted to get another chance to play with my team. Um, I've missed out on a couple games this season and not really get a chance to be out there with my brothers and stuff and, you know, have fun on the field. So for me, it was another opportunity to get out there and have fun and celebrate and run around and hopefully get this win. So.